What is up, Cowboys Nation? Your boy Mike Tag here. You're getting a, some extra tag because we got some breaking news. I'm hanging in the cave. So now I'm giving you guys different views of the cave. I probably need to do a, a new video, update some of the things that we've been doing, some of the different items I've been getting through the years, updating this bad boy. The only thing I ain't updated with is a Super Bowl championship, and they keep breaking my heart. So we got to get that thing fixed sooner rather than later but let's talk about the news dallas cowboys owner gm jerry jones was on 105.3 this morning listening to it he said the cowboys are going to make some moves and he said it was going to be for a wide receiver and next thing you know they got jonathan mingo wide receiver from carolina gave up a fourth round draft pick returned a seventh rounder I don't know how you guys feel about the trade, but I'll be honest with you. He's 23 years old. He had some upside. Saw him at Ole Miss. He's definitely got some talent. Hasn't lived up to that second round draft pick, but he's also with the Panthers. So you got to give him a little slack for that. You know, you know what I mean by that. But I just don't think receiver is an area that the Cowboys are desperately, desperately in need of. If they were really trying to fix things for this season, they would have went out and got some defensive tackles. They would have got something to sure up the defense a little bit more because you're bringing in a backup quarterback. The only way your backup quarterback's going to survive is with a strong defense. And right now, they may get Parsons back. You may get Bland back. But you're going to need a little bit more if you want to have a really tight, shutdown type defense to survive with a backup quarterback. So it was kind of made me feel like a trade to maybe appease Cowboys Nation and make you feel like, all right, they're trying to do something. But most Cowboys Nation, you know, from what I've seen on social media, they're not buying it. So we'll see how it works. I'm not going to hate the man. He is now a Dallas Cowboy, so I hope he tears it up. I hope he lives up to the expectations that I saw him at an old Miss. He's 6'2", 220. We said we needed a big body type receiver, physical receiver. So he definitely checks that box. Other things you saw, you saw Washington making moves. You see, obviously, the Chiefs made moves. The Ravens made moves. All these contending teams, Detroit Lions made a move to go ahead and get Smith, try and sure up their, their pass rush with Aiden Hutchinson out. So you see all these contenders making moves. You see the move the Cowboys made. It's like, yeah, why bother, you know, at this point? And it just leads me to the quarterback situation. We talked about it a little bit this morning. And I kept thinking about it today, and I'm like, what would happen if the Cowboys? And again, this is your, your we're, we're stretching stuff, but when the when times are down, you got to start thinking outside the box a little bit. But what if the Cowboys pull off the the miracle and they beat they beat Philadelphia? And what if they beat the Houston Texans? You get your defense back. The quarterback, the offense is playing good enough to win. And Dak Prescott's out four weeks. Then you got Washington. And Washington, I'm telling you guys, they got no defense. So I'm not sold on Washington yet. Obviously, they're playing better than we are. But again, you'd have to go to Washington and beat them. But if they were to go 3-1, and one, they roll off maybe by miracle four wins, what would you do as a fan base? What would the Cowboys do as an organization do you bring Dak Prescott back? Are you rolling with the hot hand? You're gonna have a quarterback controversy. It would be the, I mean, it would be the ultimate shitstorm if that were to happen. Now, do I think it's gonna happen? Probably not. I'm gonna be there in Houston, going to, like I said, going to see that Jake Paul Tyson fight. So, Cowboys better not disappoint me once again and lose. But the odds are definitely stocked stacked against them. But I mean, not for nothing, all these teams in the NFC take out Detroit, they're all flawed. They all have flaws. I mean, Philadelphia almost gave the game away to Jacksonville, if you watch that. They should have gave the game away to Jacksonville. Houston has been hot and cold. So if the Cowboys were able to play sound defense, and again, that's asking a lot, but if you got Parsons, you get Bland, you get some pieces back, if they're able to play sound defense, the offense just can't screw it up and, and turn over the ball. That's what's been killing the Cowboys, turnovers, bad decisions on offense. So I'm not saying it's going to happen. We all got to think in hypotheticals. We got to think in, you know, 
some miracle things taking place, but it just made it interesting, you know, food for thought is, is those what ifs. But like I said, I, you know, Cooper Rush is what he is. I would definitely, if they're not going to give Lance any opportunities, I would mix him in. I would mix him in on either some Wildcat. I would mix him in on that Cordell Stewart type, if you remember him back in the Steelers. I would find packages for Trey Lance to utilize his legs, utilize his speed, and he's also got an arm so he can, they don't know if he's throwing or running, but I would get creative. I mean, at this point, you got nothing to lose. I'd get creative, but anyway, hanging out in the cave. This has been a good day so far. It's you know, election day, whatever party you're, you're, you, you know, you're with, I could care less. All I would always say is it's a great honor to be able to vote. It's something democracy we have in the United States. It's like no other. So I know it's crazy in the political world. That's why I stay out of politics because I think they're all crooks. But definitely you want to go exercise your right to vote. Really in the local, the local voting is more important than the president. That's really where you live. That's where things happen. That's where it can affect you the most. So make sure those local elections and those local seats, that's really what you've got to pay attention to, those amendments and everything that go through for your state. That's the most critical thing. But hey, I'm just chilling. So I figured, hey, you know, I've, been, I've had this camera try to make a video. If you guys are new to the channel, just checking it out. I'm going to try and do more of this kind of stuff do some more videos, definitely love doing live. So we're gonna be live on Wednesday night, gonna be live on Sunday. Hit that subscribe, give your boy a like, show some love to the Cowboys cave. We're all down, we need to pull together as Cowboys Nation because you know what? All these haters are gonna come out of the woodwork. They're gonna tell us how crappy we are. We know what we got. We know what we're dealing with. And the beauty of Cowboys Nation, we got some thick skin, we hear it all the time. There's no place I don't go where I've got someone I'm wearing my cowboy stuff always has a comment. There's nowhere I don't go where if the cowboys lose, I get a, I always get, hey, what happened to your boys? We them boys. I get all that stuff. You guys get it too. It's the life of a cowboys fan. That's why we're so passionate and that's why we get so frustrated because we want that opportunity to throw it back in everybody's faces that hate on us 24 7 and they're just jealous because we get the attention and we don't even want the attention most of us don't want to be on espn and want to be the headlines every single week but it comes with the star that's the that's the negative side to it but there's no other team and i know it's tough but there's no other fan base i want to be aligned with there's no other team that i'd want to support more we just need to get jerry's old ass to wake up a little bit and get this thing right because this team's got talent. We just got to get some dogs. We got to get some accountability, like I said. So whatever direction they go in this offseason, when they decide to make the changes, they need to really think about it. And they got to change the culture of this team and get it going. But we'll be dropping some more videos. I just had a little random thought of what's happening. So appreciate it. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like on the way out. You guys take care. And I'll be seeing you guys Wednesday night. Enjoy. Do somebody that's hungry. Give me somebody that's hungry. I need somebody. <laughs>